Hey guys, welcome back to Tonton Review and today I have another figure to show you. So here we have the Transformer Wolf Force Cybertron Trilogy Kingdom Core Class Vertebrate. So before I begin, I must have this information that when I cut the name of Vertebrate, I thought he's going to be a Velociraptor, but then apparently not because we have Dinobot as a Velociraptor. So he is actually a same kind of branch with the Pachy Cephalo dinosaur. So he is actually his species is Draco Rex. And I think this in information might get interesting to you guys. So now let's get to the figure itself. So as this figure he's a core class, so it means that he's really small in size. And the main color of this second fossilizer is mainly the darker color of the bone, mostly brown, dark brown. And I find this really interesting because it shows to us that this guy is somewhat of really a tiny evil dinosaur and of some sort. And other than that, this is the same thing as you would expect from a fossilizer. I mean like incredibly bone and scale details. And this time he's an actual, he's a normal transformer. He's not a transformer, so there's no hope of getting this guy pulled out and be armor and weapons. I guess this is because of the size, like he's way too small for any class or the class. Upon that, let's get to some details of this dinosaur mode. So first up here, we have the head. And like I said, this is a really nice head sculpt. You can see the evil within him. And I think you got some, you got no eyes detail. This is hollow. But unfortunately, they are not able to make the whole thing hollow because of the size, like with paleo tracks. On that, he's pretty fun to handle. He's really small. And you got some scale and fang there, which is really nice. His mouth can open up. And this is made from rubber. So let's move on to the arm. Like I said, this is a preset arm. It's, there's no articulation at all because this, uh, like I said, the scale, the scale is really small. And I find this really interesting. And other than that, we have the back, the leg as well. The leg, like I said, is the same. Got some articulation there. And I'm, I'm absolutely enjoy the details of the claw, the fang on the feet. They are painted really nice and shiny which is a good thing and finally we have the tail and the upper body this is the same bony texture like we still have and the tail is made from a rubbery material so I think enough for that and let's get to some size comparison so since this guy is a dinosaur and he's standing up on two legs so I'm going to compare with him next to two core class so we have the core optimus and core class rat trap and as you can see the size is really good here and don't I'm not expecting any drastically change in the robot form compared in the name of scaling because they're gonna probably be the same. So but enough of that now let's get to some transformation. So now for transformation, first we remove the tail, this will be the weapon. Pull out the stretch stretch out the leg. Open up this section and bring out the arms. And now you can open up this back and do the rotate. And then bring down the ho this whole section. But first just bring all the arm out. And then bring up the head. And we're done. So here we have better break in his robot mode and like I said he's a tiny little bastard with an evil face and I think this whole color scheme him shows especially the color changing from brown to somewhat of a greenish brown shows that and the only new thing here on the, to the robot mode will be the face and I'm gonna zoom in the face right now the upper body is done really nice you got the face of a somewhat I would say a gla gladiator I think with some glass really nice you got a painted lower face with silver red eyes and of course the highlight is the chest with the Predacon logo on it I mean like he looks really nice and I, I enjoy the color changing parts of him gives him a more feel like a humanoid body you know somewhat of a biological and apart from that nothing is really new the leg is still the same leg as the robot leg and of course we still have the we have the arms which is new and in my opinion, the arm is, might look a little bit of too bulky compared to the leg. And probably because he's wearing some armor of some sort. Like that, and you got the hands, the hands are prefixed and there will be no articulation. What do you expect from a core class? And I think it's time for us to get to some size comparison. So here we have 
better breaks standing next to Optimus and Red Trap in the robot mode, and they are really the same scale. They, they are on the same height. I mean, I think they are the same class, and I cannot expect too much. And so my speculation will be that in Kingdom Red Trap will be the main opposite of Better Break, I guess, because of the similar scale and size. And I'm gonna bring in another fossilizer. So here we have Better Break standing next to Paleo Trex, and I mean their size are really nice. I mean, like, do what do you expect? They're from the same gang, so I think that I I would really expect some good act action between this guy in the upcoming Kingdom. And now let's get to some articulation. And before I mention about the articulation, I'm gonna show you a little bit about the weapon, which is the tail. And this is a banded sword with, by, made by rubber. So of course you can bend this right by using some heat, but it's easy to attach it, attach onto the hand just like that. I mean, it's a nice looking sword. That's, that could be hit. And I want to bring in Optimus uh, gun. So see if you can hold that because they are the same class. And yeah, he hold it better than better looking than Optimus main reason for that is that you don't have to suffer the small handle and big handle part of it. I mean that this is what should have been in with Optimus case. But enough of that and let's get into articulation. So articulation big with the head. He can look up that far and not really down. He, he cannot really do a 360 because of the chin armor. His hand can bring out just like that and rotate. Then again it's kind of hindered by guess, this two dinosaur arm. His elbow is on a ball joint, so bend and swivel, and like that. His hands are fixed, so he got no waist articulation. So his leg is on a ball joint, so kick up, kick down, kick back, split, and this is the bend of the knee, 90 degrees, and the feet are is on ball joint. So I mean, like the artic articulation for this guy's decent because like after I'm, I I play with Rat Trap, I feel like none other core class have the same level of joint as Rat Trap. So will this guy be a must buy? I would say definitely a no. You can buy it if you want to complete your fossil like the gang or some sort, but he's not a definitely must have like Rat Trap. Other than that, that should be it for this review. So thanks for watching guys. Tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. And be sure to give me a like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram. And of course, if you feel like you can help me with the future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee. Link is, is also in the description below. So that's it for today, guys. Ta-ta now. -ta -ta.